You look really good today. Thank you. <laughs> Do I or no? Is he being facetious? You look good. No, you look, look good. With my hair, my hat, it's great. It's, it's good. It's you both. All right. Top notch. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Musky Fishing Basics. Um, we'll start it off right now. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd ask that you do. It really helps out my fragile ego because I definitely need the reinforcement that we're doing something right. <laughs> if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyways, this, this time we're talking about September muskies. We just got done filming up here in August and yep. we'll have that video for you coming out pretty soon. We actually have five, at least five more videos with us catching muskies. We haven't had a lot of them lately. But we've been kind of holding that off and that stuff will be coming so starting next week after you see this video it will be um, a musky video and it's an awesome shoot so it'll be pretty cool stuff anyway steve let's talk about september muskies september is again another transition month yeah big time and uh i mean a lot goes on in september in a short amount of time depending upon what the water temperatures do because obviously uh, water temperature dictates a lot of what we do here with oh, muskies absolutely. Yep. why don't you talk a little bit about baits structure, depth. Yep, absolutely, Jeff. You know, we're, we're just uh, finished a shoot here in the full moon of August, which is kind of can be the beginning of this transition time. It all depends on mother nature and how the, you know, the cooling period begins. Um, September is typically the month where you see those temperatures start to crash. And when that happens, it's, it's really one of my favorite times of year, probably my favorite month, especially here in Hayward. Uh, what happens here, Jeff, is you have a huge movement of fish pushing in very, very shallow. So all these fish that were out deep that we were trolling in July and casting for on the deep edges in August are now moving up very, very shallow and they get on these shallow flats. Um, so shallow flats are, are pretty easy to find, but they're not all created equal. The flats I like this time of year are not the ones that are muck and covered with, you know, slop weeds. Yes, you can get some fish out of those situations, but typically I'm looking for hard bottom flats, uh, gravel or sand. A little bit of scattered weeds can be good, but I'm looking very, very shallow, at depths of two to four to maybe five feet. And I want flats that stick way out into the lake and that are very large. Small flats will hold fish, but the bigger the flat, the better it is. And it's a great time of year because when these fish come in, they're very, very active. So they're generally easy to catch. Um, we're running top water as my number one presentation. I'm running big blades as number two. And then I'm always throwing my hounds or glide baits of some sort. Again, if the fish aren't showing themselves or if we're not having much success, we'll throw in those glide baits because I can work the very shallow as well. Sure. So then um, this month, would you transition in some uh, live bait? Is that something? Absolutely. I'll start doing it once again, once water temperatures allow it. Um, if the water is still over 70, I can't usually do that. And we don't, don't usually see that movement of fish until we get under about 68 degrees would be my number. Uh, once I hit 65, I know they're going to be in there. And I can generally start running live bait and we'll run it on short lines like we do just in the spring. Um, one or two foot down going over those shallow flats and you'd be amazed at the number of fish that that will help you get. Um, obviously as you go through the month of September, things get cooler. The fish will generally start to move off those flats as you get towards the end of the month pushing into October. And then it's a whole new ball game. Awesome. Well, this is my last trip up to Hayward until November. So October muskies we'll probably be talking about with somebody else. Um, but we got to thank Steve for everything he's done for us this season. And we'll oh, be back bet. again, like I said, in November oh, yeah. to talk more fishing with him. But anyways, that's September muskies. Hopefully a couple of the tips that you learned here this week will help you put a couple more fish in the boat. And once again, we thank you all for watching.